so <clears throat> next uh, we are going to design our procurement template so if you already have a design you can uh, maybe copy paste it so maybe we can uh, you can also search for inspiration online in uh, excel or online so i like this design so i'm just going to use this design so i can either copy paste it or i can just check what's the general design the logo comes here the name of the document the dates the invoice the suppliers over here so that's the idea of it so we're just going to uh, come go ahead and merge these cells so our logo will go here so we can write that as well and then we're going to merge these other cells like like so and then we're going to say purchase order then maybe send a lot and then we will have a PO number here and then we have a PO date then we have here supplier name supplier or company name depending on how you you name them then their address then they may be their email as well and then their phone number so you could also add supplier id if you need to to also identify the ids and then we're going to select all these and then justify them to the to the right so that uh, they are always close to the to their fields and then let's insert a kind of a a separator uh, we're just going to give them a, a color maybe that blue or right blue whichever you choose i don't think it will matter so much let's use that color and then below that we're going out to have a and then item id and then uh, because the item description might have several uh, a number of names why don't we merge those and then call this item description because the name might be a bit long and then after item description we might have a unit of measure after unit of measure we might have quantity and then after quantity we might have a unit cost let's match those two and then let's also match these other two and call them uh, top of cost so this represents line information so each line will have an item id item description the unit of measure quantity unit cost and top of cost then uh, after that we are going to have a place for we can maybe also highlight this to indicate the end of the of the list and then have a subtotal here and then match this as well and uh, these will be equals to the sum of everything here okay and then we're going to have a, a VAT maybe we might also have a discount so you can add as many details as you'd like i'm just going to leave it at that and uh, include the total this is the sum sum of the subtotal comma vat comma and discount then here down here you can add uh, some more details general information that you would include as a footnote in your purchase order so i'm going to leave this up to you to to write something that you'd like to give information to your supplier i would not so finally uh, i think we have now a basic design we'll add more details like the logo you can insert your logo now come here then come to pictures place in cells go to this device then maybe you can locate your logo so that is my logo and then my company name is uh, Vista Projects so let's center that as well and then I'll give it a bold color a, a larger header maybe I can insert a new row here and another one so that I can write my email website www.vistaprojects.com and then my email is uh, the same address so uh, we let's also bold this and make it uh, quite large so that it's clear that this is a purchase order delete uh, let's just highlight those and move them up like so so now we have the basic design 
but uh, if we try and uh, print this it's not going to i don't think it's going to fit into one page so we are going to need some a few more a few more adjustments